Hi, I'm here with the rabbits and they're free ranging because it is really snowy and I thought they might like to experience the snow. My mum and dad have cleared the path because it was that deep. Um, but as you can see from my grass, it's pretty thick. And yep, steps over there, pretty much covered. I think we've got about two foot in some places, two feet of snow. Um, but yeah, so I brought the buns out, but they're just sticking to under the trampoline because that's where the grass is. Not much of it, but they are enjoying the grass. But I want them to go into the snow because it's so funny when they run in it because they just sink. Tinkerbell! So I just thought I'd show you them. So if you don't know already, they are happily bonded now as a trio and they have been for quite some time now. I can't even remember. What oh yes, it was just before Christmas when I bonded them. So, so yeah, they've been together since then. Oh, it's in the snow. And they're all really happy together. So I've got two neutered males, if you don't know. And that's Hector and Theo. And then Tinkerbell is my spared female. They're all vaccinated against myxomatosis and VHD. And they have a combined vaccine now for that. So my all three of my rabbits have been vaccinated with that vaccine. So that's in case you didn't know that or if you're new to the channel or whatever so just a bit of background um tinkerbell will be four in may i think around the 23rd of may and hector is about two now and theo's birthday is 25th of june so he'll be one this year um so let's go find tinkerbell stop it eating them berries because they're probably not very good get away from the wellies i mean not wellies berries hello Come here. So, oh, where's she gone? So I'll just give you a quick update on Tinkerbell because she's not very well, to be honest. I've noticed that she's really skinny all of a sudden. You can't really tell on camera. I think she's putting a bit of weight on now. <laughs> she's like a little grasshopper or something. Oh, Tinkerbell! <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Well, I'll start off with the long story. Right. Basically... Um, I noticed that Theo was eating his pellets with his head twitched to one side, like tilted to one side. So we took him to the vets because I was really worried. And it actually had calmed down by the time we took him to the vets, which was the next day. Um, but basically she said he's getting a spur on his back tooth, which is basically when his tooth grows a bit too long. And it could start like hurting his mouth. So she said it's, it's not big enough for an operation, but we can sort it out by putting him on a hay and veg only diet for a month. So that month is nearly up. So they've been on a hay and veg only diet for that long. Where's it gone? Oh, he's there. So he's been on a hay and veg only diet and they've all been doing really, really well. And obviously they've been getting a lot more hay now. They took the pellets out of the diet because when you eat pellets, it's kind of like a crunching motion where their teeth kind of go like that. Whereas when they eat grass, it's kind of like there's like a figure of eight movement. That is not a figure of eight movement, but there you go. Um, so obviously they need to grind down the teeth more. So that's why he's on hay and veg. But, so yeah, it was going all fine, but then recently I noticed that Tinkerbell was really, really skinny. So that really worried me because Mischief used to be really skinny. And our vet put that down to his dental issues. But thinking back now, um, I don't think it was his dental issues, I think it was something else. I think he had like a genetic problem. Because Tinkerbell doesn't have dental issues, but now she's gone really skinny all of a sudden. So it could be down to the hay-only diet, so... I've started giving her pellets separately now to the others. Um, so yeah, she's having pellets, but the other two aren't. And if she doesn't put any more weight on, then we're going to go to the vets with her and see if she can have blood tests or x-rays or whatever needs to be done to try and find out what's wrong with her. She might need medicine for it, but we will wait and see. I'm just going to see if she puts on a new weight in these next few days. I think she has started putting a bit on, fingers crossed. So maybe it was just the pellets affecting her. No pellets affecting her. I'm not sure. But yes, that, hopefully that made sense to you. Sorry if it didn't. But yeah, so yeah, the buns are free ranging. Oh, Theo's over there, and so so cute. I really want them to be pinky. Hector's behind me now. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick update on the rabbits. Um, they don't have to stay on the snow, obviously, if they don't want to, they can go on the trampoline or on the path. Um, they usually have their um, Avery door open when they're free ranging in the snow, but I've just put the guinea pigs in the shed for a run around, so that's why it's closed. But they can still get away from the snow if needs be.
For now they seem to be enjoying being out in the snow, but if they do go sit over by the Avery door then I will let them in and put the pigs back in the hutch. But yeah, they're just really enjoying themselves, so just thought I'd show you them. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye!